Hello guys and welcome back to another Blunt Reaction. Well, today is going to be the other three shorts that came out after the opening, season 8 opening. And that's Ni Snacks, Pinkie Pie Snack Psychic, 5 to 9, and so much more. Okay, Pinkie Pie Snack Magic. Well, it's gonna be Pinkie Pie using her explosions. Uh, that much, I think, is for certain. Or maybe it will explain, kind of like, Pinky Sense. Maybe it will have something to do with Pinky Sense. And then she's going to sense something. She's going to throw a bomb. A bomb and neutralize the threat. Five to nine. Well, I think it's a reverse of nine to five. Which is kind of like working hours. So I think that's what it's going to be. It's going to be like someone is working f from 9 to 5. Or maybe they were going to do like they're working a late job. So they start at 5 at a day and then 5 maybe. I mean maybe that's how it is. And so much more. Um, maybe that will be a song, maybe a wallflower song or something like that. I'm thinking it's gonna be someone's going to, it's gonna be about someone saying that they are more than something. That's my prediction. Or it's about a fat person just eating and eating and eating. So we'll see what, what it is. So let's just start. Don't want to come to the karaoke party, Fluttershy? The other oh, no, smoothie Sunday. song. I can't. The thought of singing in public makes me. No worries. See you tomorrow. All right. So they're going to a karaoke. He's like. Do you think the coast is clear? Oh, it's another no song. All right. No one to hear. Well, this was. Yeah, she's gonna pony up. Holy shit. That's a nice outfit. And nice hairstyle. I was right. Holy shit. It took me so long to be like... I was right. It is about someone singing. It would have been nicer if it was to turn it down to sing along instead of turn it up to sing along, you know. She's kind of like, alright, so Fluttershy is a, a what's it called, shower singer. That was nice. Like the two personalities of Fluttershy right there. You know, her private and her um, public. Hey Fluttershy, I came back to say we decided to go to a movie instead, but were you playing music? No, of course not. Okay, well, do you want to come? I guess so. Alright. Yeah, that was good as well. Holy shit. These last three, uh, other than the Pinkie, Pinkie Pie Snack Psychic, they were very good. I mean, the songs, the Crestor Girl songs tend to be really good. So, I mean, nothing new there. Oh, God. Equestria Girls. <laughs> Again, alright. Yeah, they were good. Uh, fuck. 
So which song did I like more? I think the actual music and all that, I liked the Applejack one a bit more, but I like them both. It depends on my mood. I like the softness of the Flourishay one. <sighs> I think it would be a good song to just listen when you want to relax. Well, the Applejack song is kind of like... I, I want to fucking dance to it. Holy shit. Um, and I just fucking love Applejack's singing voice. I'm sad that we don't get more of it. You know? I wanted... I I like that kind of, you know... Is it called like hoedown music or country style? I specif specifically, you know... American thingies. Where it's a bit... Not slow moving, but it has some speed to it, you know, some character, like a little more like racist barn, race this barn, um, apple to the core, like I've already said, um, uh, fuck, what is that called? The EQG Applejack song, let's say EQG Applejack, oh, Fuck. Song. If I just search that. Shake things up. That one was a bit more poppy, right? Same old, same old, same old story, same situation. I, I just love her singing voice. Holy shit. Probably the best, in my opinion. Out of the main six or seven. But man, I really like Sunset Shimmers as well. It's it's a it's between Sunset, Applejack, and Rarity in the singing voice. But then again, it depends on the genre, and also depends on the actual song. Because, for example, in the Friendship Through the Ages, I love Rainbow Dash's roughness when it when it does that transition from Rarity's more like. Well, obviously the style in the video is like Beatles, but her tone, that the transition with the uh, with the guitar and all that, and the roughness of Rainbow's song with the rockiness, it's amazing. So, yeah, I mean, depends on the genre of music, I'd say. They all have good singing voices, which is good. I mean, which is good. I think that's one of the problems with the new main six, you know, the students in... Hey, were they six or were they five? I don't fucking remember. Five or six of the, those students, all their singing...